that's better. Awesome. So we're gonna try this out. We'll see. We'll see if it, how it goes. But uh, Mason Ludwig of the East Liverpool Potters, soon to be the Toledo Rockets. Nate, it's been a kind of an up and down season for you guys this year. But we just we're just talking about the turf. How cool is it for you to be one of the first classes? If not, well, the first class uh, of Potters to to utilize this brand new turf on uh, on East Liverpool. Yeah, it's um it's an awesome experience for all of our kids. It's something that our whole community I feel like needs. Um, as of soccer, I mean, anybody can use it, soccer, baseball, um, football. I feel like it's something that's really going to help our athletics as well. What's it mean to you that the administration and the community have kind of showed their support with this new field? And they, is it a, is it an added bonus to know that they back you enough to kind of give you this, this new field? Yeah, it really means a lot to all of our kids. It shows how much they really care about us and, um, are trying to get things that, that we need in the school district. All right, let's get right down to the brass tacks of it, Mace. I mean, you guys have a big game coming up tomorrow night against some guys you really don't like too too much. It's yeah. red versus blue. Uh, is it one of those games, everybody talks about it from a standpoint of if you have one game that you want to win all season, is this that game? Yeah, this uh, this game means the most to um, our whole team. And, I mean, it's the one of the biggest rivalries around. It's You win this game, you have a you have a – pretty decent season like this this game means a lot to all of us that being said what kind of conversations have been had in the locker room to try to keep the team even and and as much as possible try to treat it as another game and, and prep it like it's another game and not get too you know high in the emotions of, of rivalry week yeah um i've been a leader and i'm just trying to keep everybody level-headed and um focus on more of football and being ready for what we need to be ready instead of worrying about other things and getting involved and stuff shouldn't be really worried about mesa I, I don't know if you caught it but we officially have our first big man win big dog of the valley last week in west branch that opens up the doors for you man you you've had yeah. more pancakes than ihop this year i think uh yeah when, you, when you're thinking about stuff like that um your impact as an offensive lineman defensive lineman in a game it's a lot different than being a a, a, a ball carrier or a receiver a quarterback how do you kind of look at it and kind of motivate yourself each week to make the biggest impact that you possibly can? Um, I just try to take myself as a one offensive lineman and do as much as I can to um, help my backfield and help everything, everybody else. But I also I try to take my whole line, take them on my shoulder, on my back, and just take them and try to lead the way instead of one that's all five for our backfield. Yeah, and we know offensive linemen have to be a unit. They have to work together and in sync to, to be a good unit. Uh, what's the relationship like with those guys in the offensive line room, and what kind of dynamic have you built with with your brothers on the offensive line? Could you repeat that real quick? There's a I tried to connect my AirPods, but it wasn't working. It's loud background. You got it. Uh, we know that offensive linemen have to be you know in sync and together and work as a group. So talk about the relationship with your offensive linemen and what the dynamic with them is like. Yeah, uh, we're all really close with each other. Um, but I, I, we always say your lineman got to be the closest and have the best bond on the team. You always got to be on the same page. What are some of the things that you have to do mentally to prepare yourself? Because I think everybody knows, Mason, that you're going to be double teamed each and every week. Uh, how do you kind of motivate yourself to know and get yourself mentally prepared to say, okay, I've got to take on twice the load most of these plays that everybody else does? Yeah, I really just I really just fight through it. Um, I just put a thought in my head of that I'm going to get through this and that uh, that nobody's going to beat me and that I'm going to do what I have to do. We get told by so many people what a great leader you are. If you had to describe your leadership qualities, what would you describe them as? Um, I feel like I, uh, I'm a very good leader for many different reasons um, on and off the field mainly off the field. You guys set a good example by doing the right things off the field, such as in the locker room, um, not even on a football field, away from the football field, around other people. I feel like that really sets the tone of, of being a really good leader. You guys are competitive as it comes in the Ludwig family. I saw your sisters tearing it up at the next level in volleyball. Do you guys have a, a little bit of a competition going about who can kind of put together the most headlines this year? Um, not really. We both just want to get at it and uh, do as, do the best things that we can do and um, just make everybody in our family proud. 
I gotta imagine family game nights get rough for, for you guys. What, oh, what yeah, we're, the... we're a very competitive family all around from my um my parents and my all my grandparents, my aunts and uncles, I mean all my cousins. It's it gets pretty serious. <laughs> it's What's the uh, go to game on family game night for you guys? Oh, that's a good question. One of my favorites would probably be Uno, just some basic Uno. Basic Uno. I dig it. All right, this is going to be the, a weird situation for you. You were coached by your uncle for the last three years. This year he's going to be on the opposing sidelines. It, it, we, are you going to talk to him prior to the game? Or are you going to – I mean, is it going to be one of those kind of like acknowledgements or is it going to be the same as as uh, as it's been as you, you know, you're – you're Mason, the nephew. He's he's your uncle, and you're gonna give him uh, love before the game and after the game. Um, I talk to him every day for a long period of time. I see him a lot, so we're still really close. It's just uh, it's just he's not my coach anymore, but we still talk football. We still talk about um, things like that. So we'll talk. It's it's not uh, it's not anything anything that different, really. Is he gonna try to slip into some pads on on Friday and, and try to go one on one against you? Oh, he probably could. There was a there was a time last year that almost happened. <laughs> oh, Who I wins? Hear about Who would that. win that? What was that? Who would win? Um, it's a good question. Probably me. <laughs> I would hope you would vote for yourself, Mace. Yeah. Uh, when you think about your teammates and the brotherhood that you've built with them, what makes this East Liverpool team this year uh, unique from other teams? Um, we have a young team that has um. Smart players. They're young, though. That's that. That's our um, main thing right now. We just got to keep developing as a team, becoming one. And um, we, uh, I feel like we we're a very physical team. That's one thing that sticks out. That's something that we could uh, really um, key on is just being physical. From your standpoint, it's going to be a lot different next year. But are you keeping your eyes open this year on 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 Mac Thursdays to be able to watch some of these teams that you're going to be uh, splitting the field with next year? Yeah, I uh, I'm ready. I'm I'm really excited about uh, Toledo and heading there next year. But I um I uh, I've watched a little bit. I'll head up. To, I'm actually heading up to Toledo on Saturday, so I'll I'll be at their game on Saturday. How much of a relief has it been this year to know where you're going and to not have to worry about you know recruiting and all that and just focus on your senior season? Oh uh, yeah, it's it's a big relief. I don't have to worry about this text message, that text message, calling people. It's its really just focusing on a few people and having to just keep on building a relationship with those people. All right, so you got to clear something up for us. I, I've, I've heard and uh, confirmed with many that especially on uh, the rivalry week or the game week, a lot of people from East Liverpool do not wear anything, and I mean anything, the color red. Is this true? That is very well true. I um... – you don't see much red at all, really, ever. And you used to, like, at school, like, say, you're just walking around, you don't really ever see much red. But definitely this week, if, if you if you wear red, you're not in a good position. Tough week to be a Buckeye fan then, huh? Oof. Yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you if I really had uh, anything red in my closet. No kidding. You have nothing red? Maybe a few, like, maybe Ohio State shirt, but that's about it. Okay. I can respect that. Good I thing Toledo that. is blue and yellow. Yeah. <laughs> is it yellow or gold? It's gold. Gold. Right? Gold. Gold. Yeah. You don't mess up that yellow. I mean, that's a, that's a bad thing. Uh, Mace, we appreciate you as always, man. We are uh, looking for. Oh, before we let you go, I have to tell you, Austin Klein was just on, and he did say that he's looking forward to having the first touchdown, the first win, and to having being on every blade of grass uh, you guys have on that new synthetic turf. What do you say to that? Yeah. Well. Uh... I'm not a big talker. I kind of just let it happen on the field. So I'm not going to sit here and uh, talk. There's no reason to do that. I can appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for your time. Good luck tomorrow. Uh, and, and as always, if you need anything, we're here for you, brother. Thank you.